quite the journey to get here this morning. We'll update you all later on. I might. Not so great news. We pass up beside these cows. How cute. I know the dogs are going to go. Little baby one there trying to demand some milk from its mama. <laughs> so cute. And there's a goldie here as well. So that's going to be interesting. Finally settled. Of course, Chewy lunged at the, the golden when it come to say hello to him and heard a bark from inside the car. A lot of work to do with you two pups. Oh, so I've got my oats. Don't be hard to eat in the car, I discovered when you're driving. <laughs> so I'm going to stop and have some now. Got some cute cows. spot for a meal break. Now the dogs are behaving. As you've probably seen the cows, it's probably quite good for them. They haven't barked at the cows, so I'm worried about them. Secrets. <laughs> Aren't Where are you going now? Stickies. <laughs> I didn't know where I was going. Like one of them slippery floors again. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm here at Christie's place. Christie's just sewing a button on Kevin's work pants. <laughs> I've been here for a while, a few hours actually, we um, had some lunch and had a chat. <laughs> That's about it really. I'm just getting ready to head over to our apartment. We couldn't check in at three o'clock, which is and now 20 to four. <laughs> so <laughs> That's okay. The dogs, are, they've been really good. They're a little bit ready to, to move on now though. The Chewy's probably starting to worry about his dinner, I think. But the moment he's got sidetracked with three magpies outside, he's happy to watch. And they've been so good here, they don't bark, there was construction across the thing and they didn't care but every noise at our place they bark at but they can see here, they can look outside and see or I think at our place they can't see anything because we're down the hill. I lost the button. <laughs> I was very careful not to lose that button. <laughs> and if we finished up here we'll um, head over to our apartment and see what it's like. Alright, we're do we've kind of arrived. We're doing a little detour because we can't look up where we are. It's a funny little place. We're going around the block again. There's a few streets in Canberra that are like multiple, it seems like they should be multiple streets, but all have the same name. One of the places I went to. Yeah, that street that's gone. Yeah. There's a Goldie. It's an old Goldie too. There you go. We're going around the block. You wouldn't have seen the gold. Am I blocking your view? Oh, those trees are turning. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Yeah, the whole the street is called Two Rouseabout. What a weird thing. I thought the Two, and I thought, what's the Two about? Street, then turns right onto Two Rouseabout Street. That's. I think there's a street with a number in it. That's weird. <laughs> it's a bit confusing. Turn right onto Two Rouseabout Street, then your destination will be. Oh, nothing like 37. <laughs> <laughs> Where did that go from? Okay, we're in. We got in. 
This is our little apartment. On the little, look, that's a little tiny yard. <laughs> Welcome to your new backyard, Pops. It's a bit smaller than what you have at home. We're very close to a dog park, though, so it will be okay. Wow. Um, don't, don't explore it all at once. <laughs> Keep some for later, Pops. There you go. I'm going to need to go to the toilet. Well, it won't take long to pick up poos in this yard. <laughs> Good boy, you're both busting, were you? Chewie, oh no, Chewie did go. I don't think Coda went. Oh, he'd, uh, he'd, well, he'd gone before we stopped. That's what you call a little backyard. That's okay, that's enough for them. <laughs> so, yeah, this is very cute, isn't it? It was hard trying to find somewhere to the quite late, late notice, I guess, in our budget range. That would take dogs. <laughs> yeah. Not a lot of choice, so I'll go upstairs. I'll show you upstairs later on. Coda's already going up in the dark. What did you find up there? Because it's dark. I'm sure, there's a light somewhere. There we go. Oh, cute little home for two nights. Not an air fryer. Seriously. Oh my goodness! I've never said anyone's had an air fryer before. I don't know how boy needs to be air fried. Why would you? You weren't expecting an air fryer. I know. I would have just like, no. <laughs> oh, he's a little bit, he's a little bit more video. <laughs> the place, I don't know what I took when we came in, but obviously, as you can see, we have moved in now. It's been a bit of a. I don't know. I'd work with dogs and just me, <laughs> probably. That's a nice layer. I've just got a cup of tea now, so I'm ready to sit and have a little, little rest. But yeah, no, it's just nice. Oh, the cupboard here too. I didn't even look in here. Oh, the laundry probably, yeah. Probably about the size of our laundry in the new place. Actually, it might be smaller, but it's a room you step into. Yeah, no, it's not bad. Oh, got a bit of a sunset glow going. Um, had a rest. And I thought, thought it said, I'll take the dogs on a walk. I don't realize I've got the shoe on. So we're going to go for a sniff walk instead. But they're back in their halties because they've been a bit pulley today. But they'll enjoy a sniff walk. I'll just put you around the. I don't know how far we'll go because it's not going to be the easiest with the boot or the shoe. <laughs> but anyway, I guess they're out. They haven't really done much today. And tomorrow we're going to take them to a nearby dog park and lake where they can swim. This is where you leave your house. Sorry, dogs are pulling me, so I'm trying to keep still. Oh my god, beautiful. It's so warm out still, still 26 degrees. So a good evening to go for a little stroll around the block. Glass. So these trees haven't even started turning yet. It's funny, a few have, not many. It's a little bit of red on them. Autumn in our camera is just beautiful. But it'll be too early in autumn. I'm not sure what I'm filming. So I'm filming again in case I've mucked it up. Walking in these shoes not the easiest. It's a bit, sore, a bit painful. Anyway. This tree will just be stunning probably in a few weeks. The trees have just started to turn. I think I've already said that to you. Oh, okay, that's the pathway. Oh, and up. Okay. I could go through there. I'll walk a bit further. Not the easiest walking in this boot, but you'll manage. So nice out. It's a bit maybe a little bit too warm around this side, but it's still nice. I don't know what that cloud is, it's weird. It's almost like a smoke, like you can really see the sun. Yeah, it's not how much I enjoy a good exploratory walk. 
I don't even know where we are. <laughs> I'm following this path. <laughs> Going uphill, of course. Oh, I just thought further the street that way there's stairs. <laughs> I'm not taking those. through there. A little place up there. Don't know what the box is. Right, this is around the block for us I'll do. With me being Olympicans. And we're now back to back home. Take two, because I'm special. We're playing the Disney Parks version of Game of Life. Because she's trying to remember she can, she's played I don't it before. I what this bit is. Hmm. That's pretty cute. I guess that's, how cute is it? We get to drive little Disney ca little cars with Mickey Mouse's on them. Yeah. And I, we just, and I've got my dinner. Pumpkin pass the bait that I made. I was just saying a coder can see through the table. He looks up and he can see us, which is not normal. I told Chris you lie under the table because he always does. If you sit at the table, he'll be under the table. He's like my little drunkard. But this time you can see up, can't you, Coda? That's funny. Is that funny? I think he was a bit surprised himself when he looked up. Coda, that's funny. You can see. <laughs> You're not used to being able to see. Oh, hello, Chewy. Oh, you want my dinner. You had your own dinner. Do you remember? And they usually have a whimsy when I have my dinner, but they had their whimsy before dinner, which they seem to have promptly forgotten. Of course. And I don't, we don't, have it. <laughs> I don't remember getting the whimsy. Because <laughs> they stole it out of the bag. Well, he stole one out of the bag, so then Coda got to have one. Which I think Coda stole one first, and I took it off and put it back in the bag. It was on the floor, to be fair, but you know, we don't. And I have been doing like help themselves from the box, they can pick their own whimsy. Look at these pieces over here. I didn't know the game was so complicated. <laughs> well, I don't know how long we'll be sitting here, Christy <laughs> Bean. The rules are pages and pages. <laughs> I'll show you in a second. And I just, I just was looking for some, with the, the banking tray, which there is not a banking tray, but it talks about using the banking tray. So I was Googling, thinking maybe we're just mad and we don't know what the... Anyway, the reviews for this game were not very good. They were all saying how confusing the rules were. <laughs> While you're vlogging. All right. This is... It's double-sided. <laughs> apparently it's nothing like the original game of life. So we're just going to improvise. We don't know what we're doing. <laughs> Who wants to read the particular quarter past eight at night? I don't want to read that. I have ADHD in my brain. Yeah, Mike, I couldn't do that. I'm not hopelessly reading games well, <laughs> myself. Especially that long. That's ridiculous. Anyway, we're just going to see what happens, I guess. <laughs> well, this may come up as we go along. So, <laughs> but you didn't realize, at least it's funny. These are little people movers. At least it's very entertained cute. by how yes. confusing this game mm. is. Well, I'm glad that we know it's confusing and then we're not just... It's really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I think it might be both. Well, no, I think it's, everyone was said how hard, how the rules were really okay. confusing. Okay, Christy, you won? Me? Yep, Christy won. <laughs> I wish I had this much money in real life. Yeah, we 
we've got some things we don't know what to do with or we didn't do. So there's a few things we didn't do right, but, you know, we we're had in front of us. We enjoyed it anyway, didn't we? That was fun. And now I'm ready for bed. Yeah. I got <laughs> uh, 2680000 at the end. Yeah, and I had under two, under $2 million. Yeah. Well, I wish I had that much money in real life. <laughs> Where'd it go, Julie? We lost the spot. Did it go away? I think it did. None of the good blizzards are trying to scratch it though. <laughs> oh. What are you doing, Jimmy? We should resituate and try again. Someone's found themselves a nice little spot in the sun out there. I was about to go up in my shower, but I don't want to go and disturb him. But I probably have to go up and go to the toilet anyway. What a precious little boy. He's always loved his little sunbakes. I've arrived at the dog park. See how these boys go. There's a lot of doggies in there. But it's also a big party. They normally we've got the other end probably. <laughs> Good boys. We have successfully made it into the doggy park. There's some rewards. There's lots of puppies. There's a dog over there in the mud. So we're just hoping that they don't find the mud. I don't think they're into mud. <laughs> I like that. Looks like a brutal. Poor puppy owner. Oh, there's a few little, um, quite a few little seats around too. Oh, that's a funny spot for a wee on the dirt there. at the dog park we're just going to take i guess a cross-country wander down to the lake mother is better at vlogging than i am <laughs> i still feel weird vlogging in front of other people gee i've gone better and not strange like i don't care about strangers but people i know i feel weird about mm. my, my boots my shoes got a bit dirty oh, in there <laughs> yeah i've got like little bits of dust and stuff in mine mm. puppies are very good though but apparently the lakes are really good for swimming in, so we're just going to take it down and then have a good look. Well, apparently they're just right in front of us. I don't know what they are because they're quite small, aren't they, Christy? Yeah, they're pretty. Oh, very good at the doggy part, though. Sure, we did a few of his um, mark and runs, but <laughs> overall. That was only towards the end, wasn't it? It was a good one when we first yeah, got there. Yeah, I probably got to, more, more tired and had a <laughs> left tolerance. But he was the one running up to the dogs. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, you're, you're lucky to show Dominic, like, oh, don't come near me, I'll come near you first. You're so lucky to live in Canberra, Moo. <laughs> I know this isn't even your side of Canberra, but... <laughs> it's not, you can't move here. Oh, no. I'm all tempted. We still might end up here one day. Over the lake, we'll get off area. <laughs> We haven't got Stevens. Look, there's Stevens over there. Yeah. And like in another few weeks, another month, all these will all change the colour. They'll be beautiful. I'm guessing this is the dog park area. Where's this one? This one yeah. Area? No dogs that way. Huh. There you go. It's a bit smelly. Yeah, that's why I'm like, well, they're not going in. <laughs> Smells like lake. We've got a play park here. It's a dog park behind there. And barbecues and all sorts of stuff. Very pretty. It's a whole gang of Stevens. Yeah. Oh, 
Haven. Very nice little park, very nice little outing for us. Still not as nice as Queenstown though, <laughs> which is my absolute favourite place, but very nice. <laughs> and the dogs are so good at the park, I was very pleased. It was a successful dog trip. Again, having two people with the two dogs and um, dog treats makes a big difference. Like, well, that was here again, they must blend into the grass because you sort of like walk on top of them and then you see them. Kevin's had a lot of issue with the noise in Washington, all the food trucks, and this one just started up. So I can see what he means. Imagine, you know, tens of those all going at once. Would be very noisy. But, you know, people with noise sensitive. Oh, it's just a generator, isn't it? Yeah, but it would be noisy. This is today's lunch. My potatoes from home, vegetables that are cooked in the microwave. Sprinkled with um, everything but the bagel seasoning. And the poppy. With that, I don't even need any butter or anything on the potatoes. It's just so tasty. Well, it's game time again. And this time we are playing Monopoly. Well, we're going to start Monopoly. It's just, what, 3.30? So we thought we'll get started now because these chairs are not the most comfortable. Uh, I've got a pillow behind my back. <laughs> you can see them over there. They're sort of, oh, there we go. That's what they're like. They're not very supportive of, of backs <laughs> when you've got a sore back. So I think last night, I think that hour and a half I played was about enough. I'd had enough by then. So I thought we'll do that. We'll just play for an hour and a half or so or two of my back has had enough. And then we'll have a break and then we can come back later on, however long it takes us to um, finish. That's got a cute castle. So Christy's grappling with more instructions. I think, I, I don't know if I'm blind <laughs> or it doesn't tell you what the bottom Mickey statue does. Because oh. you move it when someone rolls a double. But I don't know what it means when they move. <laughs> well, there must be something, that surely. And then that reviews when I was Googling yesterday, someone said all the Disney get board games <laughs> had bad instructions. Oh, Disney do everything so well. How come they can't do a good board game? I mean, it looks good, doesn't it? So this is the Disney Parks theme or the theme park edition. I think we had another edition before this, didn't we? Or Athena might have the other one. Yeah, we've got another one. Because this is your one. There's yeah. just like Disney movies and stuff. Oh, okay. I think it's movies anyway. It's, yeah, pretty sure it's movies. We decided to, well, I decided to order from Olak, which is one of my favourite restaurants here. We used to have one in Wollongong years ago and they closed down. They now have two down in Canberra and we're quite close to one. And I realised that we could, well, we can use DoorDash. And then I thought, I need to get a cauliflower for tomorrow because I'm going to make the cauliflower soup for Christy. So I thought, well, you we can add it on. So now we've got a double dash, which I think sounds very cute. <laughs> so it's currently getting our groceries from Coles. Well, I'm very excited about this. Uh, it might look like a lot of food, but it's not really. <laughs> got some, um, kind of like a short soup, I guess. And then some satay sticks. Rice pepper rolls. They may be for tomorrow. And some Sancho bouts. So you can see the serves aren't big serves. I've got like all on tree stuff. <laughs> well, I can have bits of everything. I haven't had their Sancho bow before. I don't think it's going to be as nice as the one from the other place in Canberra that we usually go to, but it looks pretty good. Anyway, that's a nice little treat because we were going to have it from the other store down here or well, other shop down the other restaurant down here is over near christie's house she lives in the suburb to one of these one of the olax but when we moved her down here but we ended up going home before dinner i think we had dinner on the way i can't remember what happened now but we didn't have dinner with christie so we're at her place so i think i'm gonna have the soup first and then i'll see after that what i have break it this one to last because it will be okay for tomorrow as well Some puppies think they're going to help me at these satay sticks. <laughs> if you're worried about Christy, she's got some rice. Plain rice, that's what she wanted. See another nice sunset from our yard over the fence. <laughs> Not as good as last night's one, so it did well. Pretty though. They've got a few little fairy lights, but oh, I don't quite know. Oh, there's my shadow. <laughs> um, I don't quite know what the point of those like that is, but anyway. The puppies have enjoyed their tiny little yard. It's 
it's been it's been perfect been fine for them okay we're coming back for round two hopefully it'll be quicker than round one <laughs> Well, I think one of us might go back well, pretty quickly somehow. Yeah, all right. <laughs> we'll see. I'm going to document this because this might be an historic win by me. I haven't won yet. But Chrissy owes me $1,025 and she's only got a little bit of cash. So she's got to mortgage some of her many properties because I've got four houses on those ones. Chrissy's got a lot more properties. That's where, where her money went. And she had good luck earlier in the game. I'm having bad luck in the second half of the game. Don't think she's very happy. <laughs> no, I'm talking about if you get anything back for the houses because it doesn't say. Not as bragging. <laughs> oh, I don't remember the last time I won at Monopoly. I've now got three castles there, lots of cash, and Chrissy just landed on one of my castles. So she's busy mortgaging the rest of her houses or the rest of her stuff to see if she can pay her debt. <laughs> she's not a very happy camper either. Someone a bit of a sore loser. Oh, someone's rubbing it in my face. Someone has no money and everything's mortgaged. And I have all my houses. Oh, I've still got money in my hand. I mean, oh, don't you ever won at Monopoly? <laughs> and I did not expect to win today. You're <laughs> so being it's a, a big, big surprise. <laughs> I'm just going to count my money, but I'm not counting it. If you want to count it, yeah, you can count no, it. No, you're counting I it. I won. You couldn't pay your debt. I won. Well, I need to know how much. Huh? You need to know by how much you won. No, that's not the rule. You... you at least how many 500s you have. Yes. <laughs> I had well over $10,000. Plus all my properties. I really didn't expect to win because Christy got lots and lots of properties, more than I had, and had more sets than I had. I only had the one set. So that's interesting. <laughs> well, it's a game of chance, not really strategy, so <laughs> that's how it goes. Like life. It's a good time to finish up at 8.30 because I've have had enough. <laughs> I'm rather tired, but I just had those spring rolls. Luckily, in a way, because they had fallen apart already, so there was no way they were going to last to tomorrow, but I'm quite full now. It was a big dinner for me. <laughs> I mean, it took a few hours to eat it, but it was nice. Nice treat. You know, I'm going to help Christy pack up. Uh, I'm actually going to let Christy do this. I'm going to start in the kitchen and get a bit sorted because... I'm going to try and get the dogs to the dog park in the morning and then get to Christie's and get her cauliflower soup made. And then what time did your tutoring work at? I've got therapy at 11. Therapy, is it? Okay, I thought you had tutoring today. Because Christy is now not an employee, but you have some work, don't you? He moves the green one. She's, she's doing tutoring work online, so that'll give her a bit of an income and something to do. Good morning, everyone. It's checkout day. I'm actually lying down because I was really tired. <laughs> and I thought I might try and get a bit more sleep. But then the dogs all just charged up upstairs. So Miss Shimmy and Christy's awake. So I thought, oh, more sleep's not going to happen. <laughs> so I'm going to head upstairs and have a quick shower, get myself ready for the day. Pack up my luggage. Bring it down. Definitely not ready to start moving it though, but I need to. So back at the dog park again, as you can clearly see. I need one other dog here. It's funny, our local dog park. Another one coming here. He's really busy at this time of day. Chewy, you be a good boy. He's watching for doing a poo over there. Yep, of course, right over there. Thanks, mate. Well, nice big dog park. We've managed to clear it out. There was a little puppy. And one that Chewy, well, they both barked at and it told them off, so that was good. We still got the barking at the other dog, but they were perfect with the little dog, so that was good. And the puppy. Oh, right, they're, they're all right. They've been sniffing, and that sniffing's tiring work too. We've got some more sniffing to do, and do that, and then we'll head out. I guess we can go for a little bit of a walk. I don't want to walk too far. With my boots, got all nice and muddy now. Yeah, my shoes are covered in dirt. Got a good little perch up there, hasn't he? Yeah. Good look around. Yeah. Good grooming spot too, it looks like. Plenty of some tasty grass.
Maybe we go over to the one minute to now. Chewy. He doesn't usually go off too far on his own. That's good. He doesn't usually do this, so it's quite good. Oh, really? Oh my goodness. <laughs> We've made it back to Christie's now. <laughs> this is a little home, and I'm going to make her cauliflower soup. I haven't bothered very much today, so I just have to. I haven't done a couple of days, I think you don't. You're often just busy doing things, one thing after another. <laughs> and dealing with some puppy dogs. <laughs> they do make life a little bit more challenging, but they are worth it. You know, I'll get to making this soup so we can hit the road and head home. She's got agapanthers in her garden. Oh, pretty. on the way home, go to the toilet and I managed to get a falafel almost wrap. I know I've got falafels with me but I don't have any wraps and time's getting on. So and the other stuff here was McDonald's so at least I've got a sandwich. And just like that we're back home. That was so good in the car again. Uh, the one stop I didn't even get them out. I thought they'd probably, just, they'd probably rather just get home. <laughs> they were pretty settled. Coda slept the whole way. I think Kino was awake the last 45 minutes to an hour because he's looking out the front a window. But that was so good. They had a drink after their walk and, and some water at, uh, at Christie's, so. I didn't worry stopping them to give them some water or anything in the car because I hadn't been doing anything. I guess it's, I feel like we've come home this time. <laughs> well, this is the first time coming back to this house, I think. We went to Melbourne, we went to our old place. Yes, we did. That is correct. They were happy to be here, I think. <laughs> I've already got all the stuff down. I'm going to put the kettle on for a cup of tea. I don't just sit quite yet, I don't think. <laughs> I think I'll try and unpack. And then I'll sit and have my cup of tea. Because <laughs> I have been sitting for three hours. <laughs> Just been having a nice afternoon, drinking lots of tea. I think I've had three cups of tea this afternoon, evening. And yeah, just catching up on a bit of YouTube because I hadn't watched any while I was down with Christy. So that's been nice. And obviously Kevin is back tomorrow morning. So back to watching YouTube with him in the afternoon. So I won't be so have the time to watch my own people <laughs> that I like to watch. Anyway, I'm just gonna get myself some dinner. I think we're gonna have a corn cob, I'm gonna microwave and air fry some green beans. Not that hungry. Well, I kind of am hungry, but that'll do. <laughs> have another nice, simple, easy meal. Okay, well, Kevin comes home and I have to start thinking a bit more about <laughs> I don't know. Well, actually, he saw that meal that I had last week and I had, yeah, I had the corn, green beans, which isn't even a fan of green beans, but I air fry them and I think they're really nice. And I had um, broccoli and cauliflower. And he said it looked really nice. He does love a corn cob, I know that. So that was probably what he probably wanted the corn cob and not so much the rest of it. Uh, but yeah, I've got one corn cob, so. I will have that for myself tonight and then we'll get some, I usually buy two corns a week and we have them sometime often with a pasta for some reason. I don't know why that's a thing, but usually with lasa the vegan lasagna that I make. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to do that. I've sort of unpacked 
a bit of stuff, but there's still a bit there to get done. I've just been, when I've come into the kitchen, I've just been trying to do a bit. So I've only got a couple of bags left, plus the bag that I, oh, I don't know if I told you. Do you remember I didn't have coffee? I can't even remember now whether I actually discussed that with you guys or not. But I had, what on earth is happening with my hair? I don't know. Maybe it's just lighting. But I had to buy a new coffee cup because I only had one coffee cup here. But a good sized coffee cup. Got a cup was. I thought it just got put into storage by mistake when we moved here. But no, I found a bag in the car, in the van, that was our dirty plates and cups. So luckily they don't look too bad considering like they're dirty. It's a little bit, hmm. I don't look moldy, so I'll have a good look at them and then I'll deal with that tomorrow. They've been sit they've been out there for like how how long have we been here now? Two months probably? March? No, only about six weeks or something. Yeah, about, about six weeks probably because I've had a broken toe for about four of those weeks. Yeah. So that's very right. That is probably about right. So yeah. Six weeks, but sitting out in like the hot sun and whatnot, I would have expected them to be covered in mold and whatnot. But obviously, they weren't super dirty, um, but there's two big coffee cups there. Probably my favourites, I would imagine. I'll, just, I'll have it investigate because I only just saw them just as I was um, packing to go away. I saw them. I thought, oh my goodness, I can't believe this. I don't even know what was in that. But like a container, but like it's all full of mold or anything, which is surprising. Yeah, my favourite. My favourite. Well, one of my favourites. I have many cups. It's just tea stained. A glass. <laughs> I think I bought that one because that's the one we used to. Well, we usually what we used to use for our medication in the morning. Another dirty teacup. Another favourite one. So I didn't need to buy that one, but I do love that one. Thankfully, I love it. Yeah, and there's, I think, probably the worst, but it's not even mouldy either. It's obviously a cocktail-y kind of thing that Kevin's made. <laughs> and a few other dishes. And one I was surprised, well, not really surprised, this bowl. We had popcorn in it by the looks of things. Because that's what I used for my popcorn. I thought, why didn't I bring that with us? Well, it turns out I tried to. Just didn't quite make it into the house. And what else have I got here? A spoon, another stash of bag with a dish in it. So, yeah, <laughs> a little bit of a score. But yeah, it's surprising it's not in the worst state. But I'll put all that obviously through the dishwasher. Oh, tonight, I guess I'm able to unpack to now have an eye. <laughs> even though I wasn't gonna do with it tomorrow. All right, I don't know why I'm not hungry, but I better get some dinner. Actually, I think I'm not going to worry about the beans because they're going to take longer in the air fryer. So they are very nice. But yeah, I'm just going to do, I think I'll just do the corn cob and cauliflower and broccoli and that'll be a nice, simple, easy, plain dinner to have tonight. I'm going to try and go to bed sort of on time, <laughs> on Kevin's time anyway, tonight. So I can hopefully maybe be awake enough and functioning enough in the morning to drive to the airport and pick him up. It's probably not going to happen, but I'm going to give myself a chance. <laughs> if not, it's just going to catch an Uber back, but uh, I'll try. Let's <laughs> see what I can do. But as you guys know, mornings are no longer my good time of day, even though I am awake. <laughs> but we'll see. You never know, but I'd have to go to bed early, wake up early, give myself time to feel good. Well, this morning I was kind of going, mm, I don't know, I'm trying to think what got up about. I can't remember this morning. That was a long time ago. It seems to have been a long day. And then the other thing, I'd have to take the dogs again. And I mean, they're good in the car, but do they need another three hour trip tomorrow? <laughs> we'll see. They'll be happy because they, they'll get to see their daddy. So I know they'll be super excited when they see Kevin tomorrow. <laughs> but we'll see. See what I can do. <laughs> Just one more thing while I think of it. On the drive home today, I heard, finally heard back from my rheumatologist <laughs> about a ketamine infusion. And I sort of went through booking in because I thought I'll do that and then I'll decide, I guess, from here. But it's not in Wollongong, where it normally is, which would be like a 10 minute drive, 15 minute drive. 
to the Southern Highlands, which is like an hour drive. So I don't know why. He mustn't be doing them down here anymore. So I've either got to ring and check that's the only option, but she didn't sort of say there was other options. So I'm assuming she would have if there were other options. Maybe discuss it with Kevin over Easter and then maybe make a decision in a few weeks. But the hospital already rang me, or his office is at the hospital there, already rung to sort of get the admission, admission process started. So I guess I'll do that and see how I go over the next few weeks. And if I'm feeling really good, I probably just won't. I'll just go up and cancel it, I think. I'll just say, no, I don't really feel like I need it. It's hard to know, it's so hard to know, because I still have a lot of pain, but I haven't really tried to do a lot of stuff. And we're gonna go away for the weekend in the van. Well, next weekend, actually, because it's Easter weekend now. Does not feel like Easter at all. I keep forgetting it's the Easter weekend. Wonder why there's so much traffic today on the road. Easter weekend. But anyway, <laughs> the, the forecast for next weekend is not looking the best what we had planned to do so we, we'll see we'll decide later on we'll have a discussion whether we still go or go without the van or or take the yeah go without the van not go because it's going to be a lot colder and i wanted to go while it was still warm this weekend's going to be really warm apparently which is great for easter and i guess it's probably more important overall for more people just not for myself <laughs> i'm just quite happy it was a nice cold snuggly in easter but and then have a warm weekend next weekend. <laughs> it's been so warm still, but the top temperatures next weekend are 20, which is, that's a top. So it's gonna be a lot cooler. But there's still some things we can do, but the thing with the van is if it gets cold at night. We're not sit outside kind of people, especially at night, like sit by the, around the fire or things like that, we'll just be getting into bed. And daylight savings, not sure when that ends, if it's this weekend or next weekend. Probably next weekend, I think it's after Easter. So, <laughs> yes, anyway, we've got a little bit to work out. Well, I don't, what did I even start to tell you guys? Oh, about this, <laughs> the ketamine infusion in the hospital. Yeah. So I'll just, I guess, I'll see how my pain is and decide from there.